Now the French, as I said, are more advanced than us in many ways. What they did in 2015, the government, the government actually tested phones. We've never done that here in the United States. That's one of the things that we has to change. The government had independent testing of more than 400 phones that they purchased off the shelf. In the United States, industry can provide whatever phone they want for testing. Think about it. They get to cherry pick it. What they found is that nine out of 10 phones exceeded the European limits. And here's the iPhone 5, which of course doesn't exist very much anymore. And when they measured the iPhone 5 radiation at body contact, indicated by the red there, look at what they found. Body contact. It exceeded the standard, which is the yellow. It exceeded the standard by three times. And if you apply the US standard, which by the way, on paper, is more stringent than the French, it would exceed our standard by sixfold. Sixfold. That may explain why we're seeing so many unknown phenomena in our young people today. And here's an example of what the Canadians did. This is a special edition of Marketplace. Most of us carry our phones next to our body. And why wouldn't we? Science, tests, and the hidden message in your cell phone. So the tests are all done. Tests are all finished. And? The number exceeded the limit. It went up significantly uh, with each one of the phones. That's right. The phones exceeded the safety limit when they were moved right against the body. The radiation absorbed increased three to four times. Those results were carried out by the Canadian Broadcast Corporation three years ago. The US government ignored them. That was a six-figure investigation. Recently, the Chicago Tribune tried to replicate it. This is what they found. Still, we at the Chicago Tribune wondered, how much radiation exposure do phones really cause? We bought more than a dozen phones and had them tested by an accredited lab using standard procedures. To test each one, the lab owner used a special mixture of fluids that mimics the electrical properties of the body. He poured that into a fiberglass tub. Then he secured a phone underneath the tub and set it to operate at full power. A robotic arm dipped up and down in the fluid, measuring the amount of radiation it was absorbing. There were two main things we wanted to know. First, would the phones meet the safety limit if tested at the same distance from the body as the manufacturer's own testing? It turned out that some phones exceeded the limit. Next, we noticed that federal rules allow phone manufacturers to test phones up to 25 millimeters away from a simulated body. That's nearly an inch. The rules reflect times when many people carried their phones in belt clips or even holsters, not that close to the body. So our second question was, what if phones were tested at a smaller distance to reflect how people carry their phones today, like in a pocket? This is crucial. Typically, the farther away a phone is away from simulated tissue, the less exposure to radiation. So we moved the phones in closer to two millimeters, or less than a tenth of an inch. At this distance, radiation exposure often exceeded the safety standard. It exceeded it in the Chicago Tribune tests, sometimes as much as five-fold. They took the three most popular phones to test. They published these results. The FCC said it would look into it. Well, they did. And you know what they did? This is absolutely outrageous. They tested phones with their old system, allowing the phone to be tested like it was in a holster up to an inch off the body. And they said, they're fine. Well, of course they're fine. Every millimeter off the body gives you 15% less exposure. I mean, it, this is an astonishing arrogance on the part of the agency. It takes the American public to be a fool, which of course, there's a lot of precedent for lately. But I'm hoping that those of you who are listening to this will join us at Environmental Health Trust 
and stand up to the FCC and say, enough. Pay attention to the science. Wake up like the French government has. Wake up like the Indian government has. At least let us have information so we can make informed choices. If people want to expose their children to microwave radiation going through their brain, I guess they should have the right to do that, although I think it's a kind of child abuse, frankly. And I hope that by sharing this information here today with Hippocrates and others, the real truth about health will become known more broadly.